Did you just buy a SAS script and you want to know how to install it on a BPS? Well, on this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Cloudways. It's a managed cloud hosting system that's gonna make it super easy for us to install all of these SAS scripts that we can purchase and use them on our own hosting. On this video, we are going to install a URL shortener that's a SAS. And in this video, you're going to learn how to install these scripts. So it's the same concept for other scripts. It's gonna consist of three main things when you buy a Code Canyon script or a script from somewhere else. First of all, it's the files that we have to load in the file manager. Second is the database where it's going to read all these files. And third is the cron job in some cases, not all SASs need them. So these are the three steps. It's gonna be super easy and you're gonna learn it on this video. For this, I'm going to use Cloudways Managed Cloud Hosting and it's gonna make it super easy for us because they'll grab the BPS from a company and they'll provide the panel for us. What do I mean by that? Let me show you the pricing. So we can select from DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, AWS, or Google Cloud. And we can select the plans from premium or standard, depending on the company that we're going to use for our server hosting. But it's super easy, don't get carried away. Now, like I mentioned before, we are going to install a URL shortener. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to install this one. This is something that I recommend and I actually use for my link shorteners. So I'm actually hosting my own system and I'm not paying month to month. Now, this is only 45 bucks and sometimes you can get it on sale. The links will be provided in the description. Plus, there's a coupon code for Cloudways that I don't want you to miss out on. Now, if you're looking for the SaaS feature of this because you wanna sell plans so other people can use a link shortener, you have to buy the extended license. It's 225 and that's all you have to pay. Now, heads up, this is super cheap for having your own system. I mean, you're gonna get monthly recurring revenue with this, or at least if you buy the $45 plan, you're not gonna pay month to month other services because you're gonna have your own, all right? So that's a concept of this. Now, what are we gonna, going to need to get started? Let's just say you bought this script. In this case, like I said, we're gonna use a URL shortener. We're going to need the all files and the license for this. I've already downloaded these and they're ready to go, okay? So they're in my file manager. Next thing we have is Cloudways. So we want to install one of these servers so we can actually install our Code Canyon script or the SAS script that you've purchased somewhere else. So we're gonna go into launch now and it's going to give us the options first. So do we want to install WordPress site? No, not in this case. It's going to be PHP. So it's gonna be custom app. So I'm going to select that. I am going to name it. I'll just say URL, name for your server. Again, I'll just name it URL and the URL for the project, we're gonna leave it as it is. Now, we have the options to decide what BPS do we want to use. Now, heads up, this is going to depend a lot on the needs that you are going to particularly have. Let's just say that you want to buy the URL shortener for your own use, you could probably do with the most inexpensive plan, okay? So you can select right here from the location. In this case, I'll select San Francisco, and we have the price right here. So for example, this is $10 a month, all right? Remember, this is managed cloud hosting. If I want something with more speed, again, one gigabyte of RAM, but it's faster, two gigabytes, and we can go on like this, depending on your needs. Like I said, if it's something for your own use, I would recommend something like this, $12, because you're only gonna use it for yourself. Maybe there's not a lot of traffic on your um, SaaS script, then you're good to go with that. If you plan to have more um, traffic, then you want to go with a bigger plan. And there's also options like Bolcher, Linode, AWS, or Google Cloud. It's going to depend what you want to use. In this case, I am going to use the cheapest plan there is just to show you this. But the, the, the installation is going to be the same in any one of these plans. So I'm going to launch now. There we go. It's going to add the server there. So let's give it a couple of minutes for the server to be installed so we can continue. There we go, now we have it installed and it's this IP. Now we have our own IP for our server. We're going to connect our domain to this IP. Let's go ahead and open this up. We have our own server. Let's grab this link right here, this IP, because we're going to connect our domain where we're going to install our SaaS script. So let me go into my DNS manager. In this case, I'm using Cloudflare. And what I'm gonna name this is um, SaaS script. And the IP, it's this one right here. Let's go ahead and save it. There we go. So that's going to propagate while we're doing the, the rest of the things. And now we have the SFTP data to upload our files. For this, we're going to need a file manager. I use FileZilla. It's completely free. You can go ahead and download it. It's available for Mac and Windows. So let's grab the details to log in. So we're going to need the IP right here. 
the username, username, the password, and for port, we're going to use 22. So let's go ahead and connect. Let's accept. So it's connecting and there we go. So we're going to go into the section where we're going to upload our files. Let's go into applications, folder, the public folder, and inside of here is where we're going to upload our files. Let's get rid of anything that we, can, we have right here. In this case, let's go ahead and delete. There we go. And the files that we've downloaded from Code Canyon. Remember there was two of them? Well, I have them already in my file manager. One is the main zip. If you're able to upload the zip file and extract it, you're good to go. You just upload this. But in case that your file manager, like the case of FileZilla, doesn't allow extraction, we're going to upload all the files that are inside of the zip file. So let's open up these files. I've already extracted them on my computer. So I'm gonna grab them and I'm gonna load them in right here. There we go, and it should start extracting all of these files. There we go, it's uploading. While these files are uploading, I'm going to show you other steps that we need to accomplish on Cloudways, like connect our domain and the root of the files that we're going to grab them, okay? So let's go into our actual application. So let's go into the application section here, and here it is. The PHP one that we selected is this one. This, are, this is our MySQL, which is a database, which we'll install later on. First, let's install the domain. So this is domain management. For in this case, we said sas scripts.sasmaster.net. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. So it should be adding the domain here. There we go, the domain has been connected. Next, what we have to do is go into application settings and we're going to change the web root. Why? Because this particular SAS script asks us to use the public as the web root. Not, this is not going to be the case for all the SAS scripts. So let's go ahead and click on the pencil and we're going to add public. Go ahead and save it. So what we're telling it is that the public folder is where the files are going to be, the public files. There we go, it's been added. Now this is the web root and Let's wait for the files to finish uploading to continue. There we go, the files have finished uploading. And like I mentioned before, if we could have uploaded the zip and just extracted, it would be much faster. In this case, it took about 20 minutes, just so you have a heads up. Okay, so let's go back into our Cloudway system. Let's go into our link that we've decided to use. Remember, sascript.sasmaster.net. Now we have a system installed and it's gonna take us to the installation process, which is simple, it's just steps. So it's telling us that the server where we installed these files, everything is okay, so it works perfectly, okay? So let's go ahead and proceed. We need to add our purchase code. That's a PDF file that we downloaded from Code Canyon, okay? So let me go ahead and grab that code. So let's add our code and proceed. There we go, your purchase code has been successfully validated. And now it's gonna ask us for the database. Remember I told you, we're going to upload the files, then it's gonna, it's gonna ask us for the database, and last but not least, the cron job, depending on the SAS script that we're going to install. So the database host, like 95% of all scripts are going to be local host, local host. There we go, database name, let's go ahead and grab that. That's gonna be on our Cloudways account. Let's go back into access details, and this is my SQL access. So database name, let's go ahead and add it. Database user, so this one right here. Database password, go ahead and copy that. Put it there, no database prefix, no security key. Let's go ahead and proceed. Okay, let's not save that. There we go. And now it's gonna ask us for our details that we want to use for the admin username to log in. So I'll put in my email and I'll put in, and the admin password. I'll put something simple for now. And let's go ahead and proceed. Let's go ahead and save this. And there we go. This should be working now, okay? So let me show you. Let me go ahead and open this in incognito mode because I want to show you how someone would look at this, okay? So this is the login page, but I'm going to go into the home page, okay? This is the home page for this script. Check that out. 
This is already installed from the SAS script. Let's go ahead and log in. Let's add the login details. Close that. This is our admin panel for the URL shortener. And no, it's actually the normal panel, the, the client panel. The admin panel will be over here. Let's go ahead and shorten something really quickly just to show you that, that this actually works. So let's go into uh, facebook.com and we want to use an alias for this, a custom link. So I'll just say FB, FB, okay, Facebook, all right? So this is my domain and it's gonna add that link so it takes us to Facebook. So let's go ahead and shorten this link. Here it is, check it out. FBK is a short link, let's go ahead and copy. Let's go here. And it took me to Facebook. This is now a workable SaaS, okay? This is working. Now, if you wanna see the admin panel for this, we'll go into admin right here. And this is the admin section. So it already says that this user created this link, etc. This is where we're going to be able to customize our SaaS. Add our logo, add our information, the settings for the homepage, the settings for payment gateways. So for example, that's what right here, security settings, theme settings, advanced settings. You would go in through these, create plans for your SaaS, if you plan to use this as a SaaS or for yourself. But that was super easy. Now, I mentioned, let's go ahead and close this. I mentioned that cron jobs, all right? So I mentioned something like that. Not all SaaS need cron jobs. Cron job would be used, for example, in the case where something would be automated. So let's just say that the SaaS was about um, sharing posts to Facebook and you would schedule these posts. Well, that would require a cron job so that it runs constantly so it knows it has to find um, posts that are scheduled and go post them. In this case, in the link shortener, we don't need a cron job. But like I mentioned before in the beginning, for SAS scripts, it's the three main things. It's the files that we have to load into the file manager. The second thing would be the database. In this case, Cloudways makes it really easy because it, the database is already created. On other systems, we would have to add a database and create it and so on and so forth. And the third one is the cron jobs for some of the SAS. So just like that, it's super easy to add your SAS into Cloudways to start using it right away. Go buy a SAS script, load it in just like I showed you, and you're good to go. If you get like kind of stuck the good thing about this is that for example sas scripts won't uh, they won't install it for you because that's not their job they'll sell you a sas script and you have to install it but the good thing about this is that if you do all these process and you get stuck in something like you know what something is not right they'll give you support because they're not actually installing it for you they're just helping you find out what could be wrong with your installation so it's a good idea to do all of this just in case you can't get it right. And they'll help you along the way with the Code Canyon script in case it's Code Canyon, right? They'll help you, the founders, to get it started. But there you go. Don't miss out on the opportunity to grab Cloudways with the special coupon code that's in the description, plus the Code Canyon's script that I recommend. I'll leave it in the description also. Well, that's about it. If you need a special script that you would like me to make a video on or a different system, just let me know on the comments.